At Channel 4, the commissioning editors work very closely with writers and production teams in the development of ideas, um, getting them into the shape where they can be greenlit. Once they're greenlit, really my job is to, to empower the creative people making the project and be the representatives of them within the channel, making sure we give it the support it needs. A phrase we use a lot at Channel 4 at the moment is mischief with a mission and that really permeates both Channel 4 and E4 drama, though of course that can be defined in very many different ways. E4 is our younger teenage of it. There is some um, overlap, Holly Oaks plays on both E4 and the main channel, but really we don't see E4 as a trainee channel for Channel 4. They're quite distinctly different, sometimes they overlap. Because Channel 4 don't make any of our own programmes, we always work with independent producers. So we will receive pitches, treatments, paragraphs from independent producers with writers attached. The writer's vision needs to be clearly articulated and at that point we can really engage in a conversation. As far as I'm concerned, Channel 4 always needs to keep making really fresh and really original pieces of work. We don't cover the same territory as BBC and ITV because they do it so well. So we need to keep refreshing, finding original genres and writers with very strong voices. And that hasn't changed and never will. I think if you're a new writer working in television, it's a very difficult balance to find between learning from people who understand about television writing and the rigours of television writing, at the same time as holding on to your own voice and making sure that you are doing it in the way you want to do it. I don't really have a blueprint of saying how you can make that work, but just to acknowledge that's the hard challenge for them. But we are always looking for those new, fresh writers, so keep trying. It seems to me that British dramas still are very, very respected all over the world, whether it's people buying the format of Shameless and it becoming a big American hit, or whether a top boy which is winning awards all around the world. Um, in terms of the American dramas, I think British drama always looks very well-funded, incredibly um, classy. I don't really think that's changed. The longer-running element is something that I think the British industry needs to think about a bit.